All right, what's up, everybody? Um, I just made a video of that white Tacoma over there. I did a compression test and a cylinder leaked out test, and I got to rebuild the engine on that one, so that's going to be coming on the video. I'm going to hopefully be able to take this engine out this week, but I need authorization because I just told them exactly what was wrong with that car. I have to take the engine out of this car, but I need to know exactly why. So let's do the exact same test we did on that white one on this one. Remember that white one had a cylinder imbalance number five. This one has a cylinder imbalance code, but it's more, it's cylinder imbalance port one. I already have the compression gauge set up. We'll check three cylinders on this one. We're at zero. I'm gonna crank the car. I got the EFI main fuse out. Let's crank and see what our readings are. Hold on. So you guys can see we're about 190. And we get a good look at that. Needles way over here, 190. I'm gonna do it again, you guys. Hold on. So we're gonna that was number five. This time we're gonna go to number three. Let me switch it. All right, so the gauge is at zero. I'm gonna go crank the car, you guys. Hold on. We're sitting about 185, 190, 195. That's cool. That's good compression. We're gonna move on. All right, we're at zero. I'm gonna go crank the car, you guys. Hold on. So on this one, we're sitting at about 140, 140. So we got about, we got a big difference, about 50 or so. And the check engine light on this one is for cylinder imbalance code, um, rough idle. So now let's perform the cylinder leak down test so, so we can find out exactly where our leak is. And I'll be honest with you guys, I really don't know yet, so let's just do it. Uh, Fremont 1, capital letter. Fremont 1. I'm gonna grab my screwdriver again, you guys. Now, now I need to turn the crank. Hold on. I'm gonna get my tire to stand on because this car's lifting.
You on camera? Yeah, I'm on camera and they can hear you too, man. Gauge. So this it. this is the one you did earlier? Like I showed you in the last video, we want to make sure that our gauge is set to zero. We're going to set it to zero. We're going to take it off, put it back in. Uh, confirm that. Oops. All right, our gauge is at zero. Take it out. Fix my air hose. All right, we're at zero. Awesome. Now, let's hook up our gauge. And you can see we got a fat leak. We got a big leak. So, let's find where that leak is going. Let me get a glove. Check the intake. I'm telling you, man, me and rubber don't get along. Oh, man. So, safe to say, I thought it moved. Safe to say it's not that. Let's inspect the radiator. It's not that. Let me inspect the crankcase. Oh my god, the oil change Oh my goodness, I can't even open it. I need pliers. Hold on, you hey guys. So they say for you to sit and listen, but let's say your ears ain't that good. I like to listen to loud music, so I kind of made myself deaf. I like to use a glove and hold it. All right, our problem's not there. Is it going to be the exact same as that white truck? And I swear to you guys, I do not know. So let's go to the tailpipe. As you guys can see, we have the same problem. We got bad exhaust valves. So I'll be making a video of that white Tacoma coming out. We have the same problem as this Tacoma. All right, you guys have a blessed one. Peace.